Hi everyone, so now that I'm back into video mode, I decided to film a tutorial. Um, as requested, like a really long time ago, um, they wanted me to make this um, bottle charm with the pastel rainbow layers and stuff. So what I'm going to show you today is how to make one, and I'm going to show you how to make this one. A really quick and easy craft. It only took me like 10 minutes to finish the whole thing. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the things that you'll be needing are a glass bottle. I just got mine in a pack of five at my $2 store. You'll also be needing um, two little mixing cups. Mine are just uh, shot glasses, but we won't be using them for what they're actually meant to be used for. Um, some regular salt, I'm just using table salt. Um, you'll also need some different coloured chalks. Um, it doesn't matter how old they are, I've had these since I was like really young. And it's better if you get um, like brighter colours, like this is yellow and so is this one, but the little tiny one will probably work better. So some chalk. You'll also be needing, well this is, these ones are optional, um, some head pins, eye screws, eye pins, yeah, mental blank, if you want to make it into a charm, but I'm not going to be doing that today. And you'll also just need some ribbon, I'm just using this, um, $2, $2.50, sorry, this, um, pink one, so yeah. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the salt into one of the cups. So one of these cups is just for holding salt and the other one is for mixing the colours around with. So we're just going to be pouring the salt, some salt into one of the things, into one of the cups or containers or whatever you want to use to hold your salt. So you don't want too much for a start, just a rough amount that will fill the bottle. Otherwise, you will waste all your salt. Okay, so now you're going to be colouring your salt. And I'm using four colours today. I'm not doing the whole rainbow, but yeah. So, I'm starting off with pink. So then what you're going to do is you're going to um, rub the chalk in with the salt. So that it colours the salt. So the more that you rub the, um, the chalk in, the darker the colour is going to go. And obviously, the less you do it the more pastel it's going to be. So that's like a pastel colour but obviously if you go more it will be more vibrant I suppose. So now that you've mixed your first layer you're just going to pour it into your bottle very carefully so it doesn't spill like that. Just clean up any mess that you accidentally made. Okay, so in the same little mixing cup, you're just going to pour some salt in. You can do different amounts for like how... It depends on how thick you want the layer. So I'm going to have this layer a bit thicker. And I'm going to be using orange. So I'm just going to mix the orange piece of chalk around in the salt. See, it's very light because I haven't done it much. So I'm going to go a little bit darker. This is a pale piece of chalk anyway, so it's going to take a bit more. So now I'm just going to pour that layer on top of the other one into the bottle. Trying not to spill it this time. Whoops, okay, I'm uh, not very good at this. Right, so now you have your two layers in there. It might be a bit hard to see on camera, but I'm going to want the orange one a bit wonky too. See, so it's a lot thicker than the pink layer. So you're just going to keep repeating this step with the different colours. Okay, so once you've filled your bottle up to the top, you're just going to make sure that your cork still fits in. And you want to push hard so then like it doesn't move around and ruin your pattern so once you know that it's tight you can take it back out 
So then you're just going to get your glue and put some around the base of the, um, the cork. Like so. Just slide it in there and you can fix up the bit that overflows later. So just push it in nice and tight. And if you wanted an, um, an eye screw or anything like that to make it a charm, you would have done that before. But I'm not doing that. Okay, so now once your glue is all dry, you're just going to tie on a ribbon um, to hide where the cork was pushed in. But this is optional, you don't have to do it. Once you've tied your little bow, you just need to cut off the ends to make it a bit shorter. So now your little bottle charm is done. If you're going to make it a charm, I would suggest maybe, um, and you're going to put a bow on it, seal the ends of the ribbon with uh, nail polish or something. You can see um, the wonky edges that I made, or diagonal, whatever, like they're not just straight across. Thank you for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, so once you've filled up your little bottle, all fill with salt. That doesn't make sense. 